he's done crazy in. No one's gonna play with you, Maggie. Hello, cat. Hey, I got a present for Maggie. And a present for Clementis. Somehow. So sturdy. Here we go. Next thing. <laughs> God, you're lazy. Another thing I got from the Michaels is this uh, white pen. Um, just because it was in the clearance section, because somebody stole one of them. <laughs> it's supposed to be two pens in here. And get this, the price was originally $11. Mark down to two seventy five because there's just one. And it's probably crap. But um why not try it, right? <laughs> um the uni ball signal that I have that is the most popular one, I think. Um it is also crap now, so I don't feel like I'm missing out. And I ended up um getting these pencils because I wanted to do because I wanted to do some sketching for Patreon, but I wasn't getting the results that I imagined, like I wanted, and so I got these, so because it has these wonderful colors, like this nice brown, and whatever this is, one of them's charcoal. The thing is, like, all I wanted was a charcoal pencil, alright, but they don't sell single charcoal pencils at Michael's, <laughs> they sell sets, and the sets are like $10, which is crazy. In fact, like, a box of willow charcoal, which is, like, you know, like, this stuff, this messy stuff that nobody likes to use. We usually use it in school specifically because it's cheap. Um, you use it in the first drawing class you ever take because it's cheap. It's, you know, it's something that is no pressure. You just use it up on studies and things. It's not a big deal. And usually a box of, this is huge, <laughs> usually a box of willow charcoal is very inexpensive. I'm thinking like a couple of bucks at the most. A kneading eraser. The gray ones that are sort of like Play-Doh, those are usually a dollar, 50 cents. Like they're very inexpensive, that's why I usually recommend it. But at Michael's, <laughs> they were selling those kneaded erasers for five dollars. <laughs> this set I had to use a coupon. Uh, otherwise, like, this whole set was about $14, which isn't outrageous. That's, like, you know, that's, like, $2 and a bit for each pencil. That's not terrible, but, um, they also had water-soluble graphite pencils. It was a set of five, and I've been looking for them for a while now, and somebody finally got them. It was Michael's, except that it was $32. Um, when I go pick up my car tomorrow... I might swing by the actual art supply store and pick them up because a normal price for them is $12. Not their $2. So, uh, yeah, not even a coupon would help me there. And I didn't want it that badly. But I do kind of want it. And this, I just wanted to do some kind of um, collage thing. Look at all the beautiful colors. Very beautiful colors. Of course, this is just a piece of paper that shows you what colors are in there. It's not the actual papers. I hope they're as pretty. <laughs> Maybe not. We'll see. 
It looks cloudy, but it's not. It's all smoke. Look at the sun. I don't feel like total <laughs> physical garbage today. As a, you know, apart from like emotional garbage. <laughs> I had to go uh, pick up my fixed car yesterday. And to get to Langley by bus, it took me three hours. It's never taken me three hours before. <laughs> and of course, TransLink has to charge me twice because your pass expires after an hour and a half. So I would expect that they would have a system that allows you to travel within an hour and a half, but no. Oh, so yesterday when I was on my three hour tour, trying to get my car, I was able to run in to the store to try to find a water-soluble pencil. And all I could find was this. I went in there to look for a set that I wanted, but I couldn't find it fast enough. I only had like 30 minutes <laughs> to catch the next bus number three. This is so heavy. It's like solid graphite or something. I don't know. I don't know anything about this pencil. I assume it's water soluble because it says aquarelle and it has a picture of a paintbrush on it. <laughs> it has no wood. It's very heavy. I said that already, didn't I? I should be working on a Patreon video, but I'm not. I don't know why I'm dreading doing any artwork stuff at all. Today we went to the um, Pacific National Exhibition because um, we had a coupon, but it turns out that it was only a dollar admission, which is super cheap, and that's <laughs> pretty much uh, about all the entertainment you'll get out of the p &E anyway. <laughs> I think the only exciting part about the p &E is that it's right next to Playland, which is like an amusement park of rides um so it has that high energy screaming exciting colors and and expensive food kind of thing going on but as far as the actual exhibition goes it's usually lacking um i could have showed you what we saw but um the camera battery died even though i charged it the other day so i ordered a new battery <laughs> because this always happens my battery is always just uh if, if it's dead or if, if I left it somewhere, like I can't use my camera and it pisses me off. So I'm getting a second backup battery. And, um, yeah, so John's gone to some sort of social thing and I decided to go straight home because I'm just, uh, I'm not in the mood to be friendly and sociable. Because, to be honest, like, I have been doing really badly lately. And honestly, my default stage is generally not good anyway. So doing really badly is, like, really, really badly. Which is probably why I'm not doing a whole lot of work. Like, look at this journal page. Also, what is up with these headphones? I, can, I can't find regular earbuds anymore most of the time. They only sell these awful in-ear ones, and I hate them. I, first of all, they hurt. There's no way to wear these that isn't excruciatingly painful. I don't, I don't know why anyone would want them. And the worst part is if you're eating something, or if you're just moving around, all I can hear is the sound of my own head, or like the sound of the, the wires moving around, and it's just like, what's the point? <laughs> I hate them, so... I don't know. I guess I should just look harder? Hmm. On the other hand, I did get this cool snake. And look at him. It's one of those, um, cool mermaid sequin things. So cathartic. Look at it. Feels so interesting. Best part about this is it's a slap bracelet. Whoops. I'm not really wearing this all weekend. <laughs> yeah, it's very shiny. Love it. 
And, you know, if I don't want to wear it, it could be a really nice uh, curtain cincher dealy. I could put it on anything.